So to start off, our series on why Egypt under Sisi is referred to as a republic of fear, we've of course got to start off with Abdel Fattah Sisi's military coup, which was 10 years ago in July 2013. But to fully understand the coup, we have to rewind back a bit to June 2012, when Mohamed Morsi was elected president in Egypt's first free and fair election, just a year after Egypt's longtime autocrat Hosni Mubarak was forced to resign in Egypt's wave of the 2011 Arab Spring uprisings. Morsi's election was seen as a step forward for the country's democracy, but not everyone was happy with a member of the Muslim Brotherhood being in power. Morsi's time in office was a rough one, with constant demonstrations across the country both in support of and against his presidency, along with strike action in multiple sectors which further debilitated the country. Protesters said he failed to deliver on the promises of the revolution and accused him of giving himself extra powers. But keep in mind that this freedom to protest didn't exist under previous heads of state and definitely doesn't exist under the current one. But expressions of frustration continued as the Egyptian people called on Morsi to rectify three decades of corruption left behind by Mubarak. And then opposition activists called for early elections one year into Morsi's term, despite an Egyptian presidential term being four years. Protests and demonstrations intensified in mid-2013, leading up to a large anti-Morsi protest on the 30th of June. On the 23rd of June, Morsi was advised to leave the presidential palace for his own safety by the Republican Guard, General Mohamed Zeki at the time, who's actually tasked with protecting the president. Zeki later turned out to be Sisi's right-hand man in orchestrating the coup. And it was in this context that Sisi's coup emerged. He posed an ultimatum to Morsi on July the 1st, either you satisfy the public's demands within 48 hours, or the military steps in. On July the 3rd, 2013, after rejecting Morsi's propositions, Sisi announced the military was taking over the country and detained the president. Although it came as a surprise to Morsi, it later emerged that the coup was being planned for several months in advance. Soon after, thousands of Egyptians took to the streets to celebrate Morsi's removal, whilst his supporters called for his return to office and his freedom. And Sisi's rule began with some of the most brutal and deadly massacres in Egypt's modern history. And Sisi has since been called a dictator and an autocrat for the way he started off, and continues to rule Egypt. And with the military coup and subsequent massacres, Egypt bid farewell to its brief taste of democracy. So that was how Sisi used tactics to rise to power. And for our next episodes, we'll be looking at the events that followed in more detail, starting off with the Republican Guard massacre on July the 8th.